Hello. Welcome to a place many people have heard about, yet very few people have seen. I'm Senator Patrick Brazo, and I'm pleased to have the opportunity to share information with you on Canada's upper chamber, the Senate. At the time of our nation's birth, the Fathers of Confederation decided that Canada should have its own parliament to enact its laws. They want to ensure that everything to be decided upon should be carefully deliberated by not one, but two houses of parliament. So they created the upper chamber, which is the Senate, and the lower chamber, which is the House of Commons. The Queen, represented by the Governor General, the Senate, and the House of Commons, make up Canada's parliament. All those years ago, it was Canada's first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald, who called the Senate a place of sober second thought. The Senate of Canada is called the Red Chamber, though this has nothing to do with partisan political colours. In fact, the Senate is the chamber in which Her Majesty the Queen attends when she visits Parliament. The Senate chamber is decorated in red, which is the traditional colour of royalty. There are a lot of popular misconceptions about the Senate and the role of Senators. First and foremost, I'm living proof that this is not just a place for, shall we say, people with white hair, although I'm getting there. In fact, the 105 sitting senators represent a broad and diverse mix of men and women reflecting a wide range of ethnicities, heritages, and walks of life. There are certain criteria which must be met in order to become a senator. They must be a Canadian citizen of at least 30 years of age. They must own property in their province or territory and must reside in the province or territory they represent. It's interesting to note that business people, lawyers, teachers, journalists, artists, doctors, ordained clergy, hockey players, police officers, scientists, writers, nurses, Aboriginal leaders and politicians have all become senators. This variety of experience and endeavour gives senators a better understanding of the people they represent and of the issues that Parliament must try to resolve. Our role involves participating in the sitting sessions of the Senate Chamber where legislation is debated and voted upon. This is where some of the most intense and challenging work of a Senator takes place. Another key element of our work involves our efforts in committees. In committee, there's detailed study of proposed legislation and in-depth investigation of policy matters on issues that affect Canadians in their day-to-day -day lives. Committee work is informed to a large extent by public hearings. In committee, we hear from cabinet ministers, public servants, experts, organizations and individuals who present their views and positions on proposed legislation and matters under study. Through this, the Senate assesses the strengths, weaknesses and effects of proposed bills and often suggests amendments to proposed legislation. There are numerous standing Senate committees studying several key areas of endeavour in Canadian society, such as human rights, legal and constitutional affairs, finance, national security and defence, social affairs, science and technology, Aboriginal peoples, and foreign affairs and international trade, but to name a few. Many Senators develop a field of expertise through their committee work and professional experience, and become known among Canadians for the issues they support, People identify Senators with these issues, exchange opinions with them, and when in need, turn to them for help. Another misconception about the Senate of Canada is that its proceedings are not as transparent to Canadians as are those of the House of Commons. While it's true that Senate sittings are not yet televised, this is something that is currently being considered by the Upper Chamber. What many Canadians don't realize is that there are live audio feeds through which you can hear the live proceedings of the Senate. These are available through the parliamentary website at www.parl.gc.ca. Also available through this address are written records of Senate debates and journals, including proceedings of all Senate committees. Over the years, there has been much discussion of reforming the Senate of Canada. This debate continues to this day, and I welcome the dialogue this brings from people of all walks of life. It's very important for all parliamentarians to engage in constructive effort to 
to ensure that our Parliament's institutions are relevant, effective, productive, and what's more, that they work for Canadians. This is something I believe is important to all Canadians and worthy of a great deal of further discussion. In the meantime, it's clear that the face of the Senate of Canada is changing. And I'm pleased to have this opportunity to enlighten you on the role of the Senate and the diverse nature of the men and women whose honour it is to serve Canada and its citizens as Senators. I invite you all to browse through the parliamentary website for further information on the Senate of Canada, to listen in on the proceedings of the Senate Chamber, and better yet, to visit the Senate when you visit our nation's capital. Until next time, from the floor of the Senate of Canada, I'm Senator Patrick Brazo. And remember, hope is not something to be dreamed of. It's something we can create.